Uh, I am not ready for today. This is gonna suck. Good morning. Morning. How was your weekend? Honestly, not great. Oh? Funeral. Ah, well, I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully work will lift my spirits. Uh, I do have a quick question. Where is the commissioner's office? It's my first day and I have no idea where anything is yet. You got a job with the commissioner's office and you can't find the commissioner's <laughs> office. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, mm, third floor, left out of the elevator, and it's the last door on your right. It's the one with the big plaque. Oh, excellent. Thank you. No sweat. Just turn down the energy a bit, will you? <laughs> I get that a lot. Thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. As if you're not gonna. Seemed like a nice enough guy. Hope the constant meetings don't bore him to death. Hmm. Huh. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Happy work anniversary! Excuse me? Jack McGarry, it was eight years ago on this very day that I, the ever-wise and plucky Teresa Hahn, took a chance and hired a dour, pensive, fresh-out-of-grad-school ruffian as a data analyst for my team. I remember it like it was yesterday. It's September. I seem to recall starting in March. As a permanent employee, yes. However, you started working for me as a temp in the previous September, and that's what I choose to celebrate. The start of a long-enduring professional relationship and public service. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, boss lady. Jack, are you okay? I know you and your grandfather were really close. I'm fine, Teresa, and I'm grateful for the support, really. I just feel better when I'm busy. Are you sure? You have some personal leave accrued if you want to. Once I get some coffee in me, I'll be right as rain. Trust me, I'll be okay. All right. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Happy work anniversary. What's this? Oh, white chocolate. Nice choice. A treat for later. For now, I need some coffee. Man, I've only been here a few minutes and I'm already wiped out. I know Teresa means well, but her energy can be really draining sometimes. Puppy! Whoa, jeez, Mandy, molten liquids in hand. I saw in the paper that your grandfather passed away. Are you going to be okay, sweetie? It's in the paper already? Man, they didn't waste any time. Are you sure you're okay to be at work? This has got to be devastating. Especially with how close you guys were. How does everybody know that? You couldn't stop talking about him when you first started here. You went on and on about how supportive he was. And how good his fettuccine Alfredo was. Ah, the Alfredo. Uh, you don't need to worry about me. I miss him like crazy, but I prefer to mourn quietly. I promise, all is going to be okay with me. Uh, okay. I just worry sometimes. You're not very open about stuff like this. Just know that I'm here for you. Thank you. That means a lot. Really. Why do men always seem to keep their feelings bottled up? I don't know. Maybe we don't want to look weak in front of our women. Or maybe you're all just afraid to seem vulnerable. You are giving us way too much credit there. <laughs> Will I see you down here for lunch? I think you'll like the special. Count on it. See you later. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> oh, oh, hot, hot. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Uh, I'll just take the coffee. I don't think I've seen you before. Are you new here? Yes, uh, it's my first day. In that case, welcome. I'm Mandy, the humble cafe owner. Dr. Emerson Jones. I'm the new commissioner of health. Why do I always take a sip of scalding hot liquid immediately after I buy it? 
Hey, Jack, you got the county level data yet? I need it for the info brief, and we're down to the wire. Oh, uh, yeah, it's almost ready. I'll send it your way when I get back to my desk. Oh, great, thanks, man. You're really saving my bacon with the communications team. No problem. It's what I do. Hey, are you all right? I know this was a rough weekend for you. Teresa. Teresa. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Yes, I'm fine. Just hanging in there. That's good, I guess. I really do appreciate the concern. I'm just a pretty private person, for better or worse. Hey man, I get it. I'd hate it if I was just doing my thing and everyone around was like, are you okay or need anything? It'd be super annoying. Yeah, I can relate. Oh, uh... Don't worry about it. I appreciate the thought, but I'll be all right. All right, man. Happy to hear that. Oh, and that data? Email's incoming. Awesome. Man, I need to figure out this work-life balance thing. (sighs) Much better. That covers just about everything. If you have any questions, please ask. Definitely. Thanks. You're welcome. When you get to the analysis stage, just ask Jack and he'll take care of it. He was briefed last week and has a good handle on the data. Speaking of, I heard he had a rough weekend. You think he's okay? He says he is, but I'm a little worried. He seems to be dealing with it fine. I just wish I could help. Some guys just mourn in different ways. If he says he's fine, he's fine. He knows to ask for help when he needs it. Yeah, you're probably right. Boss, you're a kind and caring person, and your energy is infectious. Never change that. Just know when to pull back a bit. You can be pretty intense when you want to be. Should I stop bringing in chocolate? Whoa, let's not get crazy. Get to work. I'm just saying. Out. Ah, what a morning so far. Meetings and briefings and MMWRs. Oh my. Hmm, I wonder how that young man is doing. Dr. Jones? Uh, Yes, hi. Uh, Please come in. Thank you. Settling in okay? I think so. There's just a lot to take in. Does every team have their own initials? No, sir. Just most of them. (laughs) Oh, good. Thought I'd have to read a handbook or something. Don't worry. We have plenty of those, too. Great. You won't need to read them all. As the new head of the department, you're more big picture. Now that is something I need to get used to. Sir? Allison, I've been a family medicine doctor for 30 years. I've treated families in my community, sometimes multiple generations. I knew them as people, not diagnoses. Now, I'm just going to get reports and charts and percentages. I'm sorry, I don't follow. It's difficult for me to see numbers and not think of the people that became those numbers. As a doctor, it's difficult to think in abstractions. All due respect, sir, that's what this job is. As commissioner, it's up to you to reconcile the medicine with the data. This makes doctors like you uniquely qualified. I guess. That's the beauty of heading a team of analysts, sir. You don't have to guess. (laughs) Thank you, Allison. That's what I'm here for. Also, you've got another meeting in five minutes with emergency preparedness. Get your game face on. Well, here we go again. At least the plaque is nice. And set. Whew, I forgot how long it took to put that together. Hopefully Armin's briefing goes well. Hey Jack, do you have that data for me? Teresa said you were briefed. I finished the query a little while ago. Just waiting for everything to get pulled from the database. I'll have the report to you by EOD. Excellent. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's what I do. Need anything else? No, not right now. Did you need anything? Not really. Everything's just on autopilot for the moment. Good, good. Just wanted to make sure. You're doing okay though, right? As good as I can be. Why? No reason. Just talking to Teresa and she mentioned her concern. That figures. I appreciate it, but if I need anything, I'll ask. There's no need to worry. Good, because that's what I told her. You know me so well. Just give me the report, smartass. You'll have it as soon as I do. Awesome. And don't forget to finish your coffee. Oh, good call. That's what I'm here for. Uh, uh, oh, cold. Gross. Well, that wraps up radiology. Tell me, uh, how many more of these do we have? Just one more before lunch. 
on publishing department data. Joy. Do I sense a bit of sarcasm, Commissioner? I'll tell you what I sense. None of these people have even seen iodine-123, let alone used it to diagnose hyperthyroidism. I knew the man who delivered the iodine. Nice guy. Made an excellent fettuccine Alfredo. Wonder how he's doing. Sir, I need you to focus. <sighs> Sorry. I'm really trying. This is just going to take some getting used to. The first day is always the hardest. Now come on. Legal and the communications team are waiting. Yeah. Like they're going to start without me. Oh, there's the sarcasm. Ah, yep. Yeah. It's finally time to get away from the desk. Lunchtime. Hmm, that's weird. I don't smell anything. Usually I can smell the special from the hall. Lunch is served, hubby! <sighs> <sighs> Gotta stop doing that, Mandy. <laughs> what kind of work wife would I be if I didn't know when your lunch break was? Teresa. Teresa. She also told me it's your work anniversary, so lunch is on me today. Really wish she'd stop doing that. She was being nice. Just like me. So take this lunch special and have a seat. I think you'll like it. Yes, ma'am. What do we have? Oh, fettuccine Alfredo. Smells good. Hey, Jack, thanks again for that data. Really made me look good in front of the communications team. Oh, and the new commissioner. Wait, you got to present to the commissioner? Lucky. It was a meeting with communications. The new commissioner was just sitting in. Typical first day stuff, I guess. Still, that's awesome. You think you made a good impression? I mean, I don't want to brag, but I think I nailed it. Ugh, jealous. I hope I get to talk to him. I hear he's a nice guy. Oh, speak of the devil. Hello again, Mandy. What's the lunch special? Fettuccine Alfredo. Sounds good. I'll take it. You know, I knew someone who made a great fettuccine Alfredo. Jeez, what's his problem? Are you serious? Oh, right. What happened? Why is Jack on the balcony? Something set him off. Not sure what, though. Oh, I think I know what it is. Is everything all right? I don't think so. Jack's grandfather recently died, and I just wanted to cheer him up by making his favorite food, and... Oh, I hope I didn't upset him. It's all right. You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, I met that young man earlier today. He said the funeral was this weekend. Yeah. Ah, hey! I'll talk to him. Sit tight. Commissioner, five minutes. I hear you. It'll be fine. Uh, excuse me, young man? Oh, hey. Looks like you're having a day. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. How's your first day going? It's, uh, not what I expected. Though, this kind of job isn't something I'm used to. <laughs> the commissioner's office seems like it'll do that to folks. Especially when you're the commissioner. Oh, my God. I didn't realize, sir. I I'm so sorry. I must have missed the email. Don't worry about it. I haven't made the rounds to all the teams yet. That's not why I'm out here, though. Then, if I may ask, why? I'm a doctor. It's kind of my job. Your colleagues and that young lady seem concerned about you. <laughs> yeah, they've made no secret of that. Just felt kind of overwhelmed is all. Needed some air. You should take some personal time and just grieve. I highly doubt he'd want you to feel like this forever. <laughs> Grandpa McGarry definitely didn't like seeing me down. McGarry? As in Ron McGarry? You knew him? Yes. He used to deliver materials to radiology and nuclear medicine. Really nice guy. I can't believe he's gone. Yeah, me neither. It just happened so suddenly. I haven't had a lot of time to process. Then take a few days. Come back refreshed. I'll meet with you and your team and make a formal introduction when you're back. Are those doctor's orders? Call it a strong recommendation from a new friend. Plus, I don't have my prescription pad anymore, so calling them doctor's orders seems a little unethical. <laughs> Fair enough. Take your lunch to go. I'll talk to your colleagues. Thanks. They're your colleagues too, you know. Don't forget. I won't. It was nice to meet you, Dr. Jones. Dr. Emerson Jones. Jack McGarry. Nice to meet you too. 
This is going to be an interesting job. <sighs> Not the way I wanted to meet my boss's boss's boss. Still, seems like a good man. I look forward to working with him. Jack, a word? I take it you heard what happened in the cafe? I did. So, I ask again. Are you okay? Honestly, not really. I'm just sorry it took me this long for me to realize it. Family deaths can be tough. We all go through them and they're always hard, no matter how much we want to deny it. You can say that again. So, uh, about that personal time... I've already approved it. Feel free to go home whenever you'd like. We'll be here next week. And Julianne's data? We've got it covered. Thanks, Teresa. Really. For everything. It's what good bosses do. Now, go home. In a minute. Just gonna make sure everything shuts down properly. Always the dutiful employee. See you next week. See you later. Work-life balance, here I come. <laughs> the white chocolate. Now, why not? <laughs> Hell of a work anniversary. Thank you for listening to Unprepared, starring Cody Rock as Jack McGarry, D. Alvis as Dr. Emerson Jones, Kira Buckland as Teresa Hahn, Anthony Ray Morales as Armand Halliday, Danuta Marie as Julianne Sweet, Carrie Lynn Davies as Mandy Sullivan, and Allison Jane as Allison Wells. Written and directed by Cody Rock. Producer and script editor, Ivan Leroy. Composer and dialogue editor, Michael Payevich. Sound designer, Zach Elliott. Custom graphic by Haley Parsley. Unprepared was a collaborative production by Joyride Entertainment and Rock Voice Productions, LLC.